Hi, my name is Michael Bergen, uh, here from Connie in North Kilkenny. Uh, we're farming here a uh, 100 IEBI Holstein and Friesian cows. The changes to the EBI there, carbon is probably play, is going to play a huge role going forward. Um, it's something I've looked into. I've gave thought, like, and uh, basically it's going to be a couple of years down the road before I really will see the results of that, uh, making the changes today. As you can see, I, uh, I'm running in the higher band and, and with the nitrates, which is going to a huge role and with a medium sized cow here we're not a Holstein cow because we are we, we do calf the beef which which is part of our system here with the new nitrates banding that they're, they're going to bring in like we're like we're calving a hundred uh, spring calving cows here uh, which a medium size efficient cow like uh, we're doing over 7,000 litres which in crates like we're in the band the higher band for me personally like it's, go it's going to make create a huge pain in in what we're doing here, like it's going to massive cuts to our herd. Like I've done up the figures, and it's it's not nice. Like uh, for being, what I feel was we're being punished for being efficient. On the farm here, uh, we keep the majority of the calves uh, for a calf to beef system. We on on pretenses that we're going to sell um, replacement heifers and breeding bulls, and also bring steers and beef heifers to 24 months. If sex even here on the farm, uh, I predominantly use it on replacement heifers like, and, and I usually what the breed, uh, breed is um, first 10 days of natural AI and then I, we go with plastic land and then and AI the rest uh, with sex. Because I have a high EBI herd of, of 228 and the replacement heifers at 263, like uh, potentially like our genetics are, are pretty good and with I could be breeding AI sires down the road, hopefully. Sex semen will work, there's no question about it. Conventional semen also has a, play, a role to play on my farm. I predominantly use sex semen on the heifers, I predominantly use conventional semen on the cows. It's just what suits me. We run a calf to beef system here, and we're always looking for a good quality calf. You have the traditional beads, the Angus, the Herefords, like, but predominantly we're using what I hear in the last couple of years is uh, on the older, more mature cows is Charlie's and Belgian Blues. Behind my left shoulder is a calf, a Charlie calf, which is a bred by a French bull called Torino. He has a good gestation in around 283 or 40 uh, days. That calf there beside us now, he was born actually at nine months, so which is a huge benefit for the beef uh, system going forward. Because we run a dairy beef system here, uh, it's very important that we get the uh, bull, beef bull to cow uh, thing right, like the older the cow, not really on age but on the size of the cow, well, you can get away with using a bigger, bigger calf like you know, you can use easy, easy, any easy calf in the whole time and the quality just goes backwards. If you want quality, you just may pick your cow, pick your bull and you'll, it'll work no problem. Quality is probably what we need in the beef, not quantity. With the purchase of these good quality animals, the buyer down the road is more likely going to have a higher return to his pocket.